So I'm obviously here to talk about how to upgrade this. So it seemed as this is a comfy style device, why not do it from the living room? Anyway, we're gonna go through the process of upgrading the storage on this. Now there are a couple of ways to do it. One is to use the Asus Cloud Backup solution. And the other is to use basically a tool to copy the partitions like I did very similar well it will be exactly the same process that I did for the Legion Go. I'll walk you through both scenarios I will just recut the Legion Go video because it just works but basically stay tuned and you will see which one is optimal. Okay so we're going to look at swapping out the drive on the Asus ROG Ally. Now like I did with the Legion Go I'm actually going to use this two terabyte drive the links will be in the description actually pretty good it comes off Amazon uh, to be honest it sits into that kind of gen 4x4 area performs reasonably well and pretty much better than the one that you have in it now this currently comes with a 512 so as I mentioned before there is a couple of ways of going about that this time I am just going to do a completely baked in install with this so I'm not going to do anything prep with this I'm just going to put it in and go through the recovery process. So to do that make sure one you've got something to protect the screen let's turn this over. Now you'll notice there are six screws in total this one is a captive screw so what will happen is when it comes to undoing this screw this won't actually come out of the housing but all the rest will. First thing to do is unplug the battery. Under here, you will find the SSD in question. Undo the screw. around now hold the volume down and power on so we need to put it back together before it'll actually power and all we'll do is get that bottom middle screw in in a moment and basically let's move the power and we should find we can power on the device holding down the volume down button and it will bring us into the BIOS. Okay, inside the BIOS, what we need to do is go to Advanced. That's the Y. 
and then under this is cloud recovery uh, we can view the policy and then basically it'll ask us for our network device or our network so it's going to find mine I will key mine in and once it's connected we can just go through the cloud full cloud recovery process now that this obviously does take a lot longer so if you want to use the other method and you've obviously already got data there then it's probably the best bet so but yeah we'll leave this plugged in and let it carry on so what it would do is boot back into cloud recovery just zoom in on that so we'll get this prompt, obviously there's nothing for us to back up, so we'll just click no. And it says, are you sure you want to do that? And it will basically be 14 gig, and we'll click yes. And off it goes, and it will do its bit. Yeah, it's not done yet. Okay, we're just coming towards the end of this recovery stage. So 98%. Now your mileage will vary on how long this takes. I think we're currently on about 15 minutes here, but it really depends on one the speed of the internet connection coming in and some other variables like the hard drive that you put in there that kind of thing so and probably the servers that they're running this from as well if that's got any congestion or challenges at the given time so sat on 98 for a little while don't worry about that too much um yeah and there we go, we've just hit the 100%. And you will notice now it's basically going to just restart. So when this restarts, I fully expect we will boot in to the Windows 11 setup. And we just go through the process you would when you have this as a brand new ROG alloy. It's just going to go through the final stages of doing all the deployments. So we are after a total of 30 minutes. We are now rebooting, which is good. Yeah, still not done. We're going to do the final reboot and we should be back in Windows 11. There we go. It's currently logging in as an admin, which will just be part of the process. Probably to pull down the last elements required for the ASUS. Sometimes you realise there's more than video games. Ah, who am I kidding? But it's still not done.
your device using a screen reader, turn on narrator by pressing Windows and Control and Enter. For more accessibility features, press Windows and U, or select the accessibility icon in the bottom corner. What she said. But there we go, it's all ready to be reset up again. So hopefully you've come to the same conclusion I have is basically do it the other way. From the point of actually using my dock, all I need to do is bring that over and connect that dock in. So the device is all connected and basically what I'm going to do now is go and get the software I need. So the good so the good thing is with this is just basically we just need to register with Macrium software and then go ahead and download the Reflect Home Trial version 8 at the time I published this. Now you will have to download this obviously onto the Legion Go because that's where we're going to be doing this work. You will also need to make sure at this point you've most likely got your um, SSD connected just so that it's ready. Um, if you needed to do any prep work with it from computer management, it's a really good time to do it at this point. So you will register, you'll get a uh, download link and code, etc., via your email. You will need that registration code to put in here. Um, and you will also need to confirm your email address as part of that registration. Apart from that, you can pretty much click next, next, next all the way through. And then one of the things it will prompt you to do is, like I said, add, add in that registration information. Once that's done, we're in a good place. Now, obviously, this trial lasts 31 days. You could go and support Macrium and use this for a lot longer. Um, it's it's to, completely up to you. It's a really good bit of software, actually. Very, very useful for cloning drives. So if you're ever going from a Windows OS to a larger OS, it's actually a really good way to basically upgrade yourself. So once um, installed, it may prompt you to reboot. Uh, I didn't, I didn't find the need to. Um, sometimes you might find you have to, um, just so it can find everything that's addressable. But basically then you get to select your user mode. Now I'm not going to select light mode because I don't want my retinas burned. So I've got the nice dark mode available to me. Now at the very top, you can see all of those. We need to make sure we've selected all those permissions and collect uh, partition, sorry, and collect a clone disk. Then I'll need to select my disk and just being careful that because I've got an SD card in there as well and to copy partitions, but using the ability to extend or shrink. Now, in this case, obviously what I want to be able to do is fit all of um, the drive and make all of the drive available. So you can see on the C there, I've now got an abundance of space. At this point, it's just a simple case of clicking next. You get the option to schedule. So if you want to wait even longer, to do this, then feel free. Uh, if not, you can just basically click finish and I'll ask you about setting up uh, backup, saving logs, etc. It's up to you if you want to change any of these settings, but all I need to do is click go and it will crack on. Now at this point, what I'd strongly suggest is that you go into your kitchen, um, fill up that kettle and get it on the boil because this will take 
a fair bit of time. Now, it depends on the read speeds of the device you've attached to and the writable speed, but I would strongly recommend you go and make yourself a nice cup of tea at this point. Pretty much everything I expect to see with a text document at the bottom there that says reflect install which will just basically be the log files from what we carried out here so not completely unusual um, I can also see that I've got another drive in there which is my Windows C drive which looks pretty much identical to the naked eye very quickly um, so we should be in a fairly good position to at this point make a decision to shut down the device There we go, fully complete with the 1.86 that you'll ever get out of a two terabyte hard drive. So we've covered off both options on how to do the upgrade to the Asus ROG Ally. You can pretty much draw your own conclusions on what one will be more optimal for you. I suppose it depends on your experience of doing these kind of things, using outside tools to actually do this, having the ability to connect in something to you know grab hold of what you're what you're after either way both will work just obviously if you go down the cloud backup route just be expected to age a little bit it certainly aged me today however that was a process i wanted to go through because i hadn't really done an awful lot with the 512 device sitting on here at the moment so anyway that's covered it off hopefully you found that useful um what i will say is please where possible use the links in the descriptions they are affiliate links but they all help me out um, i did quite well off the last one um, these devices the ada uh, ssds do seem to be holding up it's still working very well in my legion go at present so they are fantastic devices and if you have found this video useful then please hit the like the subscribe and that bell and as always i'll see you next time